Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Is All About Albert. As you guys know, some of you might know me from Corby from Dippers Anonymous. Shout out going there. Uh, today we are dipping on title that you see right there Copenhagen Strait. Yes. Alright, so to start this off, um, first let me pack a lip because it literally went all day without packing a lip. I woke up late this morning, didn't get to dip in school. Left my can of dip at home, forgot to take it to school, so didn't get to dip all day. And now we're home. It's about 326 in Midwest, and I'm ready to pack a lip. Have been having nicotine withdrawals all day. So. Yum. Yes, that is right. Yum. Take a very good look at this. Only can of Copenhagen you'll ever see me with. There's only one. You'll catch me dead. You, I mean, you will never find me with another Copenhagen. Ever. I will never dip another Copenhagen side straight. Wintergreen is nasty. And I just, it's not my taste. And, um, another thing. Hold that thought. Yep. What is... Oh. Sorry, texting a friend of mine. And, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. So, anyway. So, let's start on the review. And we'll kind of add little, you know, funny things along the way. Man, I am pumped up. I've had a... I'm just fucking excited. Got my hair cut. I told you guys I was going to get one. Look at it. Sexy, right? See, now girls like me a lot more whenever uh, I have my hair shorter like that in front of well, actually, girls don't like me, period. No, I'm just, just messing. But I do know a lot of people prefer to have my hair short up like that because, well, let's just face it, I'm fucking sexy like this, right? Thank you. So, yes, first thing that can, the thing I do like about Copenhagen is the fact that the can looks so damn fancy. Like, it literally looks like something you'd find in England. Because it kind of has that royal feel to it. So, it kind of, you know, satisfaction since 1882. Um, now, I don't know if that's the American Tobacco Company or Copenhagen itself. I don't know which came first. I don't know if one bought the other. Well, obviously, American Tobacco Company had to buy Copenhagen, because it says right there, yes, yeah, Smokeless Tobacco Company. So, anyways, back to the point. Can, parents, 10 out of 10. Looks good. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, the, the smell. Oh, yeah, we're going to open it and we're going to smell it. It really smells, I guess, it kind of smells like a like a little tiny bit of like a root beer vanilla kind of thing. That's what it smells like. Hang on. No, no, it doesn't. I was wrong. It's, it really doesn't smell that good. Actually, the smell gave me a headache. But, kind of has a real light but harsh smell. Like, you're glad it isn't any more harsh. Because if it was, you would give you a massive headache and you wouldn't like it. Now, on to the packability. Something I'm going to start adding into my videos. Packability. You can grab yourself a nice pinch. Nice pinch. Um, I'd say it's about equal with Grizzly as far as packability goes. A lot of people say it's better. No. It's uh, it's just as good. Um, 
once you get it in, no floaters. Um, now this is where, this is what gets me. The taste is so fucking good. That's what, to me, kind of tastes like a vanilla root beer thing going on up in here. It is the sweetest tasting straight. And I love sweet dip. Some of them. And, uh... Oh, by the way, I ordered a lot of Skull Vanilla, so I'm going to be trying that. And, uh, I just, there's something about sweet dips. I don't want something that's just bitter. Now, I do like natural. Give or take, it's not sweet. It does have a kick to it. I like something that has a kick to it. Besides wintergreen. I don't like wintergreen. I have grizzly wintergreen every now and then. Once every couple months. So, the taste is really, really good to me. Um... The taste is, and it lasts a long time. It's really surprising to me on how long it lasts. Because I can keep it in for an hour, uh, hour 30 minutes, hour 45. Continuously black spit. And, uh, yeah, and really, to me, it tastes better than Grizzly. But I, it's just something about Grizzly. It always brings me back. I don't know what it is. There's something about Grizzly that will always take you. It'll snatch you back. When I scare you to start to go to Copenhagen straight, I have like four or five cans of it. Then Grizzly's like, you know you want me. I'm right here. Like it stands over with its legs open. And my mouth just wants to fuck it. I guess that's the best way to describe that. So, other than that, Really ain't much to say about it. Uh, obviously, it's a 10 out of 10. Tastes is great. Looks good. Packs good. Stays in your lip good. Um, nicotine is good. It's a decent... Oh, it's one of the higher nicotine ones. I'd say... Kodiak is number one. Then that's tied with... Second is tied with Grizzly Copenhagen. Even though Copenhagen does get the most praise. They may have the best straight on the market. Oh my god, that was not good. Another thing I have that I haven't reviewed yet. Klondike Cherry. Um, I will tell you what I think about that next video. So, you might want to check out for that. If you've never uh, had Klondike and you see it and you want to try it, watch a video first. Make sure you ain't getting something you don't want. So, you know, it's always good to check those out. That's why I do these videos. I like to entertain. I like to keep people informed. Um, get my opinion on something. That's just what I do. And uh, I guess there's really nothing else. Holy shit. Hang on. You know, this is the only real time I notice how unfaded my sideburns are. I'm going to get rid of them soon. I promise. I swear I will. No matter what happens. Next video, you will not see them. So, that's pretty much my video, so I guess I'll go out on my usual saying, if you hate on dip, expect a bloody lip. See y'all later.